When you're ready to record your project, there's a few different options you have. If you're on a Mac or a Windows computer, you probably have a built-in recorder that you are free to use. Um, if on Windows, you would use the Windows and the G key to open up that recorder. Um, and there are also some other free tools you can use like OBS. And if you have another recorder that you like to use, you can use whatever you want. If you are using an external recorder, you want to make sure that you either record from a build or in your game tab, choose maximize on play. If you just record like this with the full Unity uh, editor visible, then it's really hard to see what's going on in your game because it's this very small window. But if you choose maximize on play and then you record, you'll get a close to a full screen it's still better if you can record it from a build, but um, at least maximize on play. You'll see a lot more of what's going on. There is an option to record within Unity, and you'll actually get a very nice full screen recording if you use Unity's built-in recorder. I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's under Edit, you'll choose Project Settings, and on the Package Manager, if you select the package manager from this list and choose enable preview packages. The recorder is in preview mode and so you need to enable preview packages under the project settings for project for package manager in order for it to show up. The, the first time you check this box it will probably give you a warning and ask if you're sure you want to do this. Then go to window and then package manager and it will open up this new tab it might be it might come default uh, connected to the the tabs across the top and when you open package manager after allowing preview packages you'll see that some of them have this word preview next to them so this lets you know which ones are in preview there's a high probability that the preview packages will have problems they either won't work as intended or they might cause errors in your project so under this packages drop down right here, there are a few different options. My assets is for assets that you have bought from the asset store or free assets you've chosen from the asset store. In project means things that you've already imported and built in are the ones that come with Unity. This might be the one that is open for you by default. And the one that we want is Unity registry. So these are packages available that Unity has created that do not come by default with the uh, editor. So if you scroll down in this list, you'll find Unity Recorder, and it does say Preview next to it. And I'm going to choose Install. It'll take a few moments to install the package. So once that finishes, you probably won't see anything different uh, in your project, but you will see up at the top preview packages in use. So this warns you to let you know that you are using a preview package in this project. So I'm going to go back into my scene view and I'm going to set up the recorder. So I will go to window general and then recorder and I'm going to open quick uh, the recorder window. So this is Unity's built-in recorder that you can use to record whatever you, whatever you see when you hit play. So it'll be recording what I'm seeing in the game window. So to set this up, we'll hit the plus next to add new recorders. And you have a few different options you can choose. Movie would be a, a regular video file. You could also make an animation clip or an image sequence or a GIF. This is really useful if you want to upload it to Twitter or uh, something like that. Um, but I'm going to choose movie. Um, audio is also an option if you only want to record the audio. So I'm going to choose movie. So this will make us a video clip. And uh, the format, the default it chooses is MP4. And that is what we want to use here. Most of the settings are going to stay the same. One thing to take a look at is where is it being saved to. So this lets you know where it's going to be recorded. And you can give it a name here. And 
you can choose somewhere else that you want to save it. If you want to save it somewhere outside of your project, you could set up a path for that. I'm just going to let it record into my project so that I can find it easily. And then we're ready to record. So I'm just going to hit the big red record button. And my my scene is running, but I have this window that's in front of it that's making it a little bit difficult. So I'm going to turn this back off for a moment. And when you turn off play mode, it automatically stops recording. So one thing you can do to make this a little easier to work with is you can grab the recorder tab and you can bind it to the side over here. And I'm going to try recording again. And it's actually going to replace the previous one. Um, since it already recorded a video by this name, it is going to replace it. But I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, uh, not hit play here, hit, hit the play button here. So this will start the recording automatically. Okay, so now it's recording. And then when we're done, we turn off play and it stops recording. So let's go check out and see if it made that file for us. Okay, so I've opened up my project folder in my Windows Explorer so I can find where it saved to. So this is my Unity project. This is what I named the Unity project. And here's the normal assets and library folders that you would normally see. And down here I see a new folder called recordings. So this one is not normally here. So this is new. Now if I open this up, I can see here is the recording that I just captured. And I can play it and I can see that it captured only what was in the game window. So it looks really nice and really clean and it doesn't have the Unity editor around it. So that is how you use the Unity recorder. And uh, this is a, a really great option for getting a nice clean recording of your Unity project.